مجمع أندلسي تعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students, uh, this is teacher Mohamed Bek again with you and uh, with a new lesson. So please open your students book page 75. It's a listening and speaking lesson. So hope you enjoy this lesson and please pay attention. We have two objectives for today's lesson and they are first fill in the blanks, blank spaces after listening to an audio talking about the marshmallow experiment. Yes. Marshmallow. Yes, exactly. It's marshmallow. The sweet candy that is uh, that all, all the children like. And the second one, answer six questions about future goals after discussing them. So let's begin. As you can see, as I told you, it's about marshmallow. But how are we going to talk about marshmallow today? Let's see. First of all, let's watch a video and answer the following questions. I'm leaving you with a video right now and then we will we shall come back and discuss the questions. That chair. All right, here's the deal. Marshmallow for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. When I come back, I'll give you two, another one, so then you'll have two. But stay in here and stay in the chair till I come back, okay? okay. All right. I'm gonna go do something and then I'll come back. It smells yummy. It smells really good. So it's up to you. You can have it now or you can wait. Okay? I'll be back. Stay in the chair, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna leave and then I'll come back, okay? So you can either eat it right now or you can wait. Either way, okay? Okay. How'd you do? Did you do good? You did? Yeah. You wanted to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. So did I tell you I'd give you another one? Okay, now you can have both. You need them. <laughs> it's just only one question. 
Do you think it's possible to predict if a person will be successful from a young age? If yes, why? And if no, why not? Well, I think that that is it is possible to predict that a young uh, child is going to be successful or not, but not necessarily from one experiment. You need to do or conduct more than one experiment. Now let's read first the marshmallow experiment. We are going to read this report. Then after we listen to the audio, we're going to answer these or this question. Listening. B. Listen to an expert giving a talk about the marshmallow experiment and complete the notes. Hello, my name is Dr. Tom Morris. I am here today to discuss how studies have shown that it is possible to predict whether people will be successful or not in their lives. Successful people seem to have specific characteristics that can be spotted from a very young age. A study which took place in the 1960s and 1970s managed to change the way we had understood the concept of success up until then. It was called the Marshmallow Experiment. A funny name for an experiment, but you'll understand why it was called that in a minute. It turns out that successful people aren't just intelligent, as most of us would think, but they also have the ability to control themselves and delay gratification. What do I mean by delay gratification? Well, it is the ability a person has to refuse a reward now and be patient enough to wait for a bigger or greater reward later. It's a simple idea, and when I tell you about the experiment, I'm sure you will understand it clearly. So, let's go on to discuss the experiment. It involved a group of four-year-olds that had to sit in a room with only a table and a chair in it. The experts showed each child a marshmallow and told them that they had two options. The first was that they could eat the marshmallow at any time they wanted to, but if they were impatient and ate it right away, they wouldn't get another one. The other option? If they waited for 15 minutes, they would get a second marshmallow to eat. The experts then left the room and left the children alone to decide. I know it sounds like a long time for young children to wait. You might say that even five minutes would be long enough. However, the results showed that it wasn't an impossible task for some. About one out of three children managed to wait the appropriate amount of time and get a second marshmallow. The experts then asked themselves, what will happen to these children in the future? The amazing thing is, that they contacted the children after about 15 years and investigated whether they could be considered successful or not. What did the experts discover? It turns out that the ones who were able to delay gratification were indeed the ones who got better marks at school, had better relationships with their teachers, parents and friends, and also showed a greater ability to cope with stress and other problems proving that they were more successful than the others. This experiment has been conducted in many other countries and... Okay, the first one is 1960s and 1970s. This is the time of, the, of conducting the experiment. The concept, success is not just about intelligence, but also about whether people are able to Yes, control themselves and delay gratification. The experiment, a group of how many, how, how much old are the children? They are four years old. Had to choose between two options. Eat one marshmallow immediately and not get another one or wait. Two options. Eat one marshmallow immediately and not get another one or wait. 
for 50 minutes to eat the marshmallow and get a second one results one out of three children was able to wait for a second marshmallow 15 years later yes they uh, checked on the children after 15 years the children who had waited to get a second marshmallow were more successful than the children later than other children than the, than the other children later on their on in their lives gratification means the state of feeling satisfied What do you think of marshmallow experiment? Do you agree with its results? Well, to a degree, I think it's uh, or this experiment is or the results of this these ex, this experiment is correct. At least you can check on your that child you are conducting an experiment on. Check his patience, as you can see here on the upper right side of this page patience is the key to success this is our value for today patience is the key to success okay let's go on to the next one or next objective speaking think of your dreams goals and ambitions and discuss the questions below use some of the phrases given what goals have you set for yourself in your life? How do you plan to achieve them? What do you expect to gain through them? What things do you think you may have to give up to achieve them? In your opinion, is it important for people to go after their dreams? If yes, why? And if not, or if no, why not? Is there anything you would like to do but consider impossible? What makes it impossible? Let's try to answer the, these questions. One, first of all, let's use these phrases. The goals I have set to my life is to become a policeman, for example. I'd like to become a policeman by entering or enrolling in the police academy. I expect to get to get a high salary when I become a policeman. I think I will give up some things like uh, more time with my friends. I think I will miss that. In my opinion, I think it's very important for everyone to go after his dreams because dreams are what or is the thing what, what makes life worth it. Impossible things are um, I, I'm hoping that I am, one day I will become the head policeman of the department. Okay, we have um, a closure here. We are going to do this exercise. Let's begin. I eat in an expensive restaurant. I going, I is going to, or I am going to. It should be, I am going to. Sam have pizza. Sam is going to have pizza. I do some shopping. I am going to to, I am going to do, I am, I are going to, I is going to, no, it is I am going to. Sam and Megan eat at home today. Am, is, or are going to. It should be are going to. Yes, that's correct. 
All my friends have a great party. All my friends are going to. I play football this afternoon. I am to play football. I am going to play football. I is going to. No, it is I am going to play football. Seven. We practice today. We going to or we are going to. I don't think this is correct. I drive to work tomorrow. I am going to. I are going to. I is going to. Well, it is I am going to. My parents go to the to the cinema. They are busy. Aren't going to. This year I study better. I am sure. I am going to study better. I am going to. I am going to. He phone his friend. He is going to phone his friend. And the last one. What you do tonight? What you you going? No, no. What are you going? What is you know? It's what are you going to? I think we have done all them correct. Yes. Okay, let's go back to our. Okay. Okay, we have an assignment now, today. You're going to search for the, the internet and find a success story. Write a post about the story on a forum and include your thoughts and opinion about it. Just search for a success story and write your opinion about it. This is your homework. It's on, it's on uh, page 75 on the student, in the student's book. Goodbye and see you later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.